Hi everyone, welcome to Java 8 Stream API series. This is the third part of Java 8 Stream API series, and in this part, we are going to learn how to do sorting using Stream API. So, we are going to learn how to do sorting in ascending order and descending order using Java 8 Stream APIs. Let's get started. In this video, I am going to create a lots of examples to demonstrate how uh, you know to sort a list of different objects in ascending and descending order using Java 8 Stream APIs. For example, first we will see how to sort a list of string objects in ascending and descending order using stream APIs. And next we will see how to sort a list of employee objects by their salary in ascending and descending order using lambda expression and stream APIs. Next we will see how to sort a list of employee objects by age in ascending and descending order using stream APIs. Next we will see how to sort employee objects by name in ascending and descending order using stream APIs. So I'm going to create a line by line code to demonstrate all these use cases. Okay, let's switch to the Eclipse ID and let's start developing examples to demonstrate all these use cases. All right, let's get started. All right, for that, here is the class and here's the main method inside that we are going to write a logic. So first we'll create a list of objects. For example, look at here, we have a list of fruits. Uh, banana apple mango orange and we are going to sort this fruits list in ascending order and descending order using stream APIs. all right let us see how to do that so let's first sort a list in ascending order for that first we need to convert a list into stream by calling stream method and then we can you know we just sort a stream using sorted api so look at here here are the two overloaded sorted methods and we are going to use this one and here we need to just pass the comparator uh, with natural ordering just call the natural order so this will sort a stream into uh, ascending order now we need to convert this stream back to list for that we, need, we are going to call a collect method and collect method here we need to pass a collector collectors and call to list method to convert stream into list it's pretty simple right so what we have done we have converted list into stream and here we have called sorted method to sort a stream in ascending order and then we converted back from st stream to list and here we need to store this list in different list i am going to call it as sorted list okay it's pretty simple and let's print this to the console just provide a sys out here and sorted list so let's run the program and let us see the output so look at here apple banana mango orange pretty simple right so we can also use the lambda expressions to sort a you know list in ascending order using stream api for example instead of this we can pass the lambda expression so let us see how to do that so this is the lambda expression we have to use to sort a list in a ascending order okay we need to pass a lambda expression to the sorted method to sort a you know list in ascending order it's pretty simple right so let's provide a sys out here and let's print this list sorted list to the console so look at here apple banana mango orange pretty simple right as i mentioned there are two sorted overloaded methods now let us see one more sorted method which don't have any parameter so this will by default sort a list in ascending order let me just print the list in a console and let's see the output so look at here apple banana mango orange so these are the three different ways we can use to sort a list in ascending order okay now let us see how to sort this list in descending order using stream apis so it's pretty simple so what i will do i will just copy this code and here i will just put a comment like descending order so here i will just rename the list here sorted list 2 and this is sorted list 3 
okay so this this will sort a list in ascending order so i am going to just change it from natural order to reverse order so this will print in print a list in descending order okay and here in a lambda expression in order to you know sort this list in descending order we can just swap the references like this okay this will you know sort a list in descending order so let's go ahead and let's run the program and let's see the output so look at here so puts list is you know uh, sorted in as a descending order so this is how we sort a list of string objects in ascending order as well as descending order using string apis now let us see how to sort uh, employee objects by their salary in ascending order as well as descending order using stream apis so in previous video i have created an employee class with id name age and salary so i am going to reuse this class so let us see how to sort a employee by their salary in ascending order first and then later we'll see how to sort employee by their salary in descending order okay so first we need to convert employees to stream so here just call a stream method and let's call a sorted method so first we will see the anonymous implementation of comparator interface and then we'll convert anonymous class implementation with lambda expression all right let's call a comparator anonymous implementation here and just call a collect here we need to pass a employee right employee type and let's call a collect method so this here we need to provide a collector collectors dot to list method to convert stream into list okay a comparator provides a compare method we need to implement here like this all right and here we are sorting a employee by salary so here we need to provide the logic o1 dot get salary o2 dot get salary all right so let's cost it into integer so this will assort a employee by their salary and here what we'll do we'll just get this new sorted list in a, another list i'm going to call it as employee sorted list okay and here what we'll do we'll just simply print it let us run the program and let us see the output so look at here employees are sorted by their salary employee with salary 3 lakh 2000 comes first and then 4 lakh 4 lakh 50000 and then 5 lakhs it's pretty simple right now let's convert this anonymous implementation into a lambda expression it's pretty simple so what we need to do is we need to replace this method here and we we no need to have a return here and uh, here just provide a arrow all right and here just remove this i will just break this okay so that you will understand that's it it's pretty simple right and even we can also re remove this type here all right so this is the lambda expression to you know to sort a uh, employee by their salary in ascending order so let me run the program here and look at here the output okay great now in order to sort an employee by their salary in descending order what we can do is we can just you know uh, swap the references like this okay let's run the program and let us see the outputs so look at here the employee with higher salary comes first and then low salary like this okay so we can replace this lambda expression with compare comparator provided methods for example i am going to just copy this and here what i will do i will replace this lambda expression with 
comparator dot comparing long and here what I will do I will just pass the employee and this is the method reference and I am going to call get salary okay it's pretty simple right so here is a comparing long method so we can just call it and we can pass a get salary method this is the method reference double colon syntax and here we just provide a sysout and just print this list to the console so look at here okay so just we are sorting employee in ascending order like this it's pretty simple right so notice here comparator interface provides a couple of methods comparing methods which are very useful while you know sorting all right so now we have seen how to sort a list employee list in ascending order using this comparator dot comparing long method now let us see how to you know sort this employee list in descending order let me copy this here and here again comparator provides a reversal method so this we can use to sort a employee in descending order so let us test it let's put us this out and this is the descending order right great so let's run the program so look at here the employee with higher salary that is 5 lakhs comes first and then employee with 4 lakh 50 thousand and then employee Ramesh with 4 lakh salary okay so this is how we sort uh, you know the employee list in ascending order and descending order it's pretty simple right so comparator method uh, comparator interface provides these apis comparing long and reverse so we can use to we can use these APIs to you know sort a employee list in descending order like this it's pretty simple right now let us see how to sort a employee by their age in ascending and descending order using stream API so for that I'm going to just copy this and let us see how to sort an employee by their age in ascending order first here what we need to do is we need to just replace get salary with get age and this comparing long with comparing gate okay that's it now let's print this to the console and let us see the output So look at here the employees are sorted by their age in ascending order now let's say how to sort employee in descending order so what we need to do here is we need to call the re reversal method and just i will rename this list and i will print this list to the console like this and let's run the program so look at here age 30 comes first and then age 29 okay so this is how we sort an employee by their age in ascending order and descending order using stream apis now let's quickly see how to sort employee by their name in ascending order and descending order for that what i will do i will just copy this code and here let me paste it here what i will do instead of get age i am just going to call a get name and this is this returns a string so we need to call a comparing method and i'm going to store the result of this into a list employee sorted list for you and i'm going to print this list to the console like this okay so this will sort employee by name in ascending order all right let me run the program and let us see the output so look at here the employee name is Pramod comes first and then Ramesh and then Sanjay and then Santosh all right now let us see how to sort employee by their name in descending order so it's again pretty simple so here what we need to do is we need to call a reverse method of comparator 
and I'm going to just print this list in a console so look at here Santosh comes first and then Sanjay and then Ramesh and then Pramod so this is how we sort the employee by their name in ascending order and descending order using stream API and comparator it's pretty simple right let me recap what we have discussed so far in this video we have discussed how to sort a list of string objects in ascending order and descending order using stream api and we have seen how to sort employee by their age salary name in descending order and in ascending order using stream apis all right so in next video i'm going to show you how to sort you know objects with multiple fields using lambda expression and comparators all right i will see you in the next video thanks for watching